Hi everyone, um, welcome to the highly anticipated CD collection. Now, I did try and do each CD individually, but because of COVID and stuff, my parents were working from home, so I was never home alone to do this. I'm not now, but I'm just being quiet. Um, so I'm going to try and do this with... I'm going to do this in parts, I'm not going to do this all in one, because I've got about 150 or something. Um, so it probably is going to be split into like 10 minute segments, so I don't know, maybe like 4 parts or something. Um, this video will be boring, but I just I prefer to make these videos, I, I actually enjoy them. Um, yeah, so I'll just start, I'll try and talk a little bit about each one. But it's going to be hard because some of these I haven't actually listened to. Okay, this one is um, Aha. The Headlines and Deadlines, it's the greatest hits album. Um, it's, I, well, I can say it's pretty good, but it's the greatest hits album. So it's not really fair. Um, I got that from my dad, I've heard of Aha, and I do like quite a lot of their songs. So it's... Uh, it's pretty good. Um, Alicia's Attic by Alicia Rules the World. I haven't listened to this, um, but I got it for free, so I just own it. Uh, I haven't listened to it, so I don't have any opinions on it. It looks pretty cheesy. I don't. I don't really like the look of it. Nothing's really stood out about this album. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll, I might listen to it in the future, you never know. Okay, now we move on to like stuff that I know, for, at least for a while. We've got Arctic Monkeys, What The People Say I Am, That's Why I'm Not. At the moment, this is my favourite Arctic Monkeys album. Um, I love this album, It's um, it wasn't the first one I listened to, I listened to just like the hits first. And then I listened to their first album and I thought I'd go along. Um, and it was a good thing I started the first album. Because, you know, it does, in my opinion, it goes, like, pretty good. And then I'll get onto that later, actually. But, yeah, I really like this album. Um, and I like how this is a physical sticker. It's not just on the CD paper thing. It's not... It's, it's actually on there. It's physical. I know some people would be absolute psychopaths and rip it off, but I don't know why you do that. Got the second album. This one is in bad condition, but I got this, uh, I think this is like an original CD, so I'm not not too bothered. Um, favourite Worst Nightmare. This used to be my favourite, but uh, I've sort of learned the debut is better now. But if you said this was your favourite album, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, I really like this album, but I think it's just like a bit not worse, it's just not as good as the debut. Um, yeah, but I actually, I do really like this album. Um, I hope one day I'll get the Arctic Monkeys albums on vinyl. Okay. And the last of the original, like, stuff is Humbug. This one is really nice. It's, like, really nicely presented. Like, the jewel case itself is a bit, you know, scratched or whatever. But it's good. Um... Again, this actually used to be my favourite for a while. This is probably, like, this was my favourite for a while because I thought I was, like, outside the box. I actually probably prefer this to Favourite Worst Nightmare, but um, I can understand if you prefer Favourite Worst Nightmare because this is, like, a very different... No, not very different, but it's it's noticeably different sound to the first two albums because it's, like, sort of stone or rocky because it's, it was in the desert and stuff. It's not... It's, it's different, and I like it for that. Um... Now we have the, like, American Breakthrough album, AM. So I listened to their first album, and then I listened to this one. Uh, and I actually liked this album, but only because of, like, Do I Wanna Know? And stuff like that. And I have learned this album is, like, not very good. It's, it's, my, it's one of my least favourite Arctic Monkeys albums. Uh, it's really let down. But, you know, if Arctic Monkeys are happy making this or whatever then that's fine but i i, I don't 
I don't like this really very much, but it's a very nice actual like CD itself. Like it's a jewel case CD. Uh, whether that's just ripped from the vinyl, I don't know. Probably is. A lot of those are. Now this is just I bought this for free again. This was gifted to me. It's a, just a sixties compilation. Uh, some good songs. Fleetwood Mac on here. Beach Boys, Sam and Garfunkel. Oh, the Velvet Underground. I didn't, I didn't actually. Bob Dylan. Animals like the House of the Rising Sun. Uh, there's most likely Beatles on here. Some Santana. Yeah. Again, I can't really say anything about it because it's it's a compilation album, and I actually haven't listened to it in full. Like I only know a few songs off there. Sorry if the light is like really distracting with the things. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. But it's better than the sunlight because it's just like a massive like, thing in the corner, and it's better than the light above the like there because uh, that is also like I don't know. This seems to be the most equal light. This one I got from my dad. This is one he had in his like the Beatles live. This has got like sixty songs, seventy songs or something. Um, you know, some good songs there, but a lot of these I have not heard at all. Um, but apparently this was live at the BBC. Um, there's a massive like booklet in here. It's not a very good. It's not like a very good presented uh, thing. But you know, this is. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. Okay, now we move. Oh, I got that in the wrong order. Right, we'll just we'll just pretend that I talked about this before. This is Beach Boys' Pet Sounds. Um, now, I put this album off for a while because of the album cover, and I must say the album cover, it really does let the album down. It's really it's really weird it's not even weird it's just isn't it doesn't do anything for anyone really um but it's an amazing album it's one of my favorite albums of all time really it's definitely like one of my favorite 60s albums only behind like the beatles and stuff um yeah it's definitely better than a lot of the Beatles stuff, in my opinion. I think if that was like a Beatles album, it would definitely be like number two or three. Um, please Please Me, we move on to like the Beatles actual albums now. Uh, please Please Me. Um, I wrote this from my dad again. And I'm not a big fan of like this sort of Beatles. I do like it though. I think it's nice, it's just a nice relaxing album. Like if you just wanna sit there and like, you know, just chill out to some Beatles, and this is the Beatles. Um, like, it's a lot less heavy, I guess you could say, than their later stuff. But yeah, it's um, not for me. I do prefer, like, late Beatles. I think a lot of people do, if I'm honest, except for older people. Um, this video will probably end with the Beatles, by the way, so if you're not a big fan of the Beatles, then just go to the next video. If they come out at the same time, but it's, I think I will. Uh, help this is my favorite no this is probably my second favorite of the old Beatles which the old Beatles is like pre rubber soul uh, this is like Beatlemania stuff obviously the Beatles were still massive with like Sgt Peppers and stuff but they were not like this is when they still toured is what I'm saying I know they still told rubber soul but rubber soul was sort of like the start and end of both eras, so I just prefer to class it as like later Beatles. But sorry, this is really good. Um, the only one I prefer is Hard Day's Night, I really like that album. Um, yeah, there's some great songs on here like Help and Yesterday and you know, Ticket to Ride. It's, it's really good. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that it's in like, I don't know if you can see that. That's a stereo. I'm not a big fan of old Beatles stuff being stereo. Uh, just keep it mono, I think. Okay, we've got uh, four more Beatles albums, so I'll probably go over 10 minutes. Actually, definitely will. I won't do it in 10 seconds. Um, this is one of the newest additions to my collection. It's Revolver. Um, 
Now, I'll show these all at once, actually. No, I won't, I won't. And there's five, actually. This is the fifth, last one. So I, uh, I had, like, all the late Beatles stuff, except for, like, a few. Like, I didn't have Let It Be. I've never really been a big fan of Let It Be. So this is, like, Revolver. Well, of course it's Revolver, it says it at the moment. But this is, like, Rubber Soul was sort of, like, folkish and a bit... It was experimental, but it's not the same degree as, like, sitars and, like, reverse stuff. And, you know, it's just... It's, like, the, truly the start of the new Beatles era. And this picture here is a bit annoying. Because this is them performing live. This was not... Re that was not Revolver. Um, a better example of Revolver would probably be... Um, You know, probably something like this. Then with like vibrant clothes in the studio, making stuff like this. And um, all the latest, all the later Beatles stuff are in this format where it's like big gatefold here with a CD in here. And then it's got like the Apple thing with the booklet. And uh, I don't know if I prefer it to the, just the CDs, but I don't know, it's pretty cool. Revolver, great, is probably my second favorite my third favorite Beatles album. Okay. My second favorite is White Album, by the way, but that won't be included. Sgt. Pepper's. Um, again, like classic album. I really like this um, as well. A lot of people put it as like first album of all time and like their favorite Beatles album. I've never been, this has never really been my favorite. Um, I don't dislike it, it's just there's other albums that I think are a lot better. Of course you've got the like classic thing again again, it's in this uh you know like format. And you know what's really annoying? It says like documentary there. I've never been able to get the documentary. I've never found it. I've just I put it in my computer, I put it in like my Xbox and DVD players and I've always just got the music. Um But people have uploaded to YouTube, it's not a big deal. Okay, Magical Mystery Tour. This is probably the Beatles album I regret buying the most. Although it's got like plenty of good songs on here. There's like I'm the Walrus, Hello Goodbye, Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane. All you need is love. Like it's great. Um, I've not never been a big fan of like. Uh, you got all the stuff here. I've never been a big fan of like the concept of this album, neither with Sgt. Peppers really. I get Sgt. Peppers because it's like the Beatles aren't the Beatles anymore. But I, I've never really liked Magical Mystery Tour as like a whole album. Of course it's got great songs on there, but it's not one of those where I'd be like, oh, I listen to Magical Mystery Tour. You know, it's never been one of those. Um, this is a really good album though. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a Beatles album. But I, I think if I was to go back and I'd, I'd change this for Rubber Soul. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I said I don't have the White Album in this video. That's because I have it on vinyl. My vinyl collection should be like one of my first videos on my channel if you want to find that. Um, I might, I won't leave a link in the description, sorry. I can't be bothered. Um, Abbey Road. This Abbey Road is probably my favourite Beatles album. Um, like for many reasons, it's probably the most revolutionary Beatles album. And you know, he had like Revolver, which set the mood for like psychedelic, and same with Sgt. Pepper's, which Sgt. Pepper's also created like a concept album, sort of. And then there was White Album, which was just everything. This was like really early rock. I mean, there was obviously rock before that, like The Doors and Led Zeppelin. But I don't know, I just, I really like this album as a whole, and I think it works. As a collective um yeah but i just i don't know why this is just my favorite album and it, it has been for you know the past few months but it will most likely change this is the beatles we're talking about um yeah okay now the final album you probably expected this it's the one it's just one um you know everyone owns this album there's all the songs it's just the number one hits it's Obviously, it's a compilation album. Again, I can't say much about it. But it's a great Beatles album to own. If you like the Beatles, but you're not one of these people who's like, oh, I don't know what album to buy, just buy this. It's, 
if you're just a fan of music in general, buy this. It's you'll never have to listen to any other music again. Uh, obviously, you should do. Like you should want to. But, you know, if you were just like, oh, I'll have one album to listen to forever. Pick this. You know, like it's the Beatles. It's got early Beatles. It's got late Beatles. It's got weird Beatles. It's got like all you could want for pretty much. In terms of the Beatles, and uh, that's it for the first part. It's longer than I thought. This is gonna take ages, but it's been fun. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in part two, or maybe not. Let me know if anyone's still watching. Please, please watch my.